How to use DJI Terra's Oblique Photography Mission Function DJI Terra's Oblique Photography Mission can automatically generate five different flight routes on the mapping area, capturing the downward, forward, backward, left, and right images to ensure the accuracy of 3D modeling. This following demonstration video will be carried out with the Phantom 4 RTK. Launch DJI Terra. Click the New Mission button on the bottom left of the interface. Choose Oblique and edit the mission name. Designate a mapping area for oblique photography by tapping three or more locations on the map. DJI Terra will then automatically generate five different flight route missions. The first mission will be capturing the ortho photos. The second to fifth missions will capture the mapping area's front, rear, left and right photos with an oblique angle. Note, there should be no more than 99 waypoints in one mission, and the distance between two adjacent waypoints should be no less than 3 meters, and no more than 2,000 meters. Therefore, the mapping area should not be too large, otherwise the route missions cannot be created. In the meantime, DJI Terra will automatically calculate the total route distance, estimated total time, total waypoint count, estimated total photo count, and area. Users can set the aircraft's flight parameters, route parameters, and camera parameters in the settings interface. It is recommended that users set the flight altitude at least 1.5 times higher than the target object's height and ensure that all objects in the mapping area are below the flight height. If the completion action has been set to return to home, click the gear icon at the top right of the page and set the RTH altitude according to the surrounding conditions. As 3D modeling requires certain overlap rates, under normal conditions, users are recommended to use the default settings in the advanced settings. Users can also adjust the overlap rates according to the situation. When the area being mapped is relatively uniform in elevation, the overlap rate can be adjusted lower. However, it is recommended to keep the forward overlap at a minimum of 65% and side overlap at a minimum of 60%. If the area has a large difference in elevation or if there are tall buildings or objects that require fine modeling, the overlap rate can be increased accordingly. If the Phantom 4 RTK is used, there will be an undistortion option shown in the camera settings. Disable this option if you want to use the captured images to create a 3D model. It is recommended for users to set the gimbal pitch angle to minus 45 degrees. After all the settings are done, move to an open and unobstructed space near the mapping area. Power on the aircraft and remote controller, then connect the remote controller with the PC via a USB cable. Launch the GSR app, then enable RTK function. Refer to the Phantom 4 RTK's tutorial video for specific instructions. Launch DJI Terra. Choose the previous mission we edit, and then click Edit. When the DJI Terra detects the aircraft and a FlySafe notification appears on the status bar at the top of the screen, click the Start button. Please read the checklist carefully. After the missions have been successfully uploaded, click Start Flight to initiate the missions. During the flight, please align the remote controller's antennas with the aircraft for best reception. If the battery level becomes low before the mission is finished, Click Stop and select Save Waypoint Route Info and Mission Status, then make the aircraft return to replace the battery. After replacing the battery, choose the task, click Continue, and select Resume from Breakpoint. The aircraft will first rise to the first height, fly to the position where the task is last stopped, and then perform the remaining missions. When performing the first to the fourth missions, if the connection between the remote controller and aircraft is strong, DJI Terra will automatically upload the next route information and carry out the next mission after the current one is completed. If the aircraft and the remote controller has been disconnected, the failsafe RTH will be activated after the current mission is finished. After the fifth task is finished, if the connection between the remote controller and the aircraft is strong, 
The aircraft will perform the preset completion action. If the aircraft is disconnected from the remote controller, the failsafe RTH will be activated. Thank you for watching.